In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Tweak to change the settings for the dock and also how to set up a new account and remove it. If you want to install Kelly Linux, go to the one on the left. And if you want to install the tools for Parallels, go to the one on the right. You can find Tweak down here. Um, or if it's not on your dock there, you can go to show applications, which is this dotted one, and just type in. First of all, um, let's do the top bar. The top bar is this button here, and um, I like to see the date. So uh, see if I uncheck it, the date goes away. You can see it at the top here, it comes back. So that's how you change that. Um, if you want to change uh, the appearance, if you want to get these icons here, then you need to go to icons and make sure this top one is selected. Um, you've probably got this one selected if you've just installed it, which will give you these icons. So pick the ones you feel happiest with. I like these ones. Uh, next, if we go to extensions and go to dash to dock. Now, click on this cog. Now you can change the position of this, this dock over here. So currently it's on the left, you can change it to the bottom, top, right, yeah. Okay, I like it on the left, so I'm going to keep it on the left. Um, this auto hide here, it just means that if I drag this box over here, it, it disappears. And if I move it, it comes back again. You can change the size of the icons. So now they're bigger. You can also change the appearance of this dock. So here you can choose customize the dash color. So you, if you just switch that on, now that's uh, a, a white color and you can change whether it's uh, transparent or not. So by changing this, so if I move that up and it that back to there. <clears throat> Startup applications. So if there's something you want to open immediately, you just click on this plus and then you select it from any of these that are that are here. Here you, you have English you can select it and see this uh, this keyboard isn't quite right for me. I need the US one. So now it looks uh, a bit more like the keyboard that I've got with the, the quotes and then the at sign in the right place. So we're going to set up an account. It's very easy. Go to the spanners, users, unlock, type your password in, now add user, now leave this so that it's um, Allow a user to set up password when they next log in. Because if you if you click on set up now, this grays out and you can't undo it. So leave that there. And then click the select add. So when you log in, it, it's it will ask you to set a password for this person. You can uh, change the picture here. Let's change it to um, Change it to that dog. Yeah. 
set the language English. You can change it to administrator rights, but I'm going to leave that standard. That's done. So if I go to log out, it's asking us to uh, to change the password immediately. So now we have to retype it. And now we are logged in with uh, this user's settings, which are different from the last ones that I had. So there it is, new user. So if we log out of this, I'm going to log out. Now I'm logged in as me again. So if I go to Back to users. I can select this one. So this is the administrator. I can select this one. Select unlock. And now I can remove this account. Now it's gone. Hey, thank you for watching. Hope you liked the video. Give us a like and subscribe.